Hey guys, what's up? It's Malcolm Zunky. So, ever since the Revolution ability came out, well, the Revolution Combat Style, I've been doing some testing and I've been trying to find out um, what's a really AFK way of training combat. Because I know everyone loves AFK um, and so many people train at places like the Abyss and Cannoning Dagonauts, um, but those things are expensive and not everyone can afford them, even though I know the Abyss isn't too expensive. But Cannoning Dagonauts, on the other hand, is very, very expensive. So, what's somewhere that you could train where you would lose no money? Um, and you'd still get very good XP per hour. This is actually better than the Abyss, um, this training method I'm about to show you. And you can also get some charms. This is also better than the Abyss's charms. Obviously not as good XP or uh, charms as Dagonos, but those are just crazy expensive because cannonballs are a lot of money. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to be showing you is how to kill black demons. 100% AFK. Uh, you don't lose money because you barely use anything in supplies, and if you just pick up a few noted drops, you'll make all the money you lost back. Um, you also don't need a whole ton of high gear and requirements. In the video, I will show myself using Soul Split. However, if you don't have Soul Split and you have the Vampirism Aura, you can just use that and that will heal you up just fine if you're using armor as good as mine. Um, or if you do have Soul Split, you can also do this with Magic. I'll show you me doing this with Magic as well. Um, with Magic, I did need to eat a little bit. I need to heal a little bit. However, I did not use the Vampirism Aura with Magic. So if you have Soul Split and Vampirism and you're using Magic, you should be just fine here. Um, it's a little bit faster with range than Magic. Uh, with range, it's about 340k XP per hour. Uh, with Magic, it's about 320k XP per hour. But um, both are pretty good. I use Tier 80 weapons, so I, I have Ascensions. I just didn't use them because I know not many people have them. So I was using Chaotic Crossbows. Um, a Royal Crossbow would always also work just fine here. Magic is slightly more AFK. It's easier to AFK with Magic because the reason why you can do this is because of the Ricochet ability or the Chain ability with Magic. Um, and the Chain ability has a longer area of effect, so it's a bit easier with Magic. The thing is with range, if there's anyone else on your world, they can kind of mess you up, and I'll talk about that in the video. But anyway, yeah, the setup you need is... Um, a, I would recommend a Slayer Helm if you're on task, or if not, you can just... Uh, I don't know, wear some sort of decent helm. Um, I'm wearing Royal. Royal is just fine. Ragefire Boots, uh, I would recommend to swap these out for Glavens if you're ranging. Virtus Gloves, swap these out for Pernix if you're ranging. Or Gano Gloves would also work. Uh, six Age Circuit, Vampirism is a must. Um, unless you have Soul Split and you're ranging with armor as good as this, then you probably don't really need it. Uh, Royal Bolts, Fury, Chaotic Crossbows, and I have an Avas Alerter. Skill Cape would also work pretty good, or a Max Cape if you have that. Anyway, I'm going to show you two methods, one with magic, one with range, and tell you the pros and cons of each and show you how to do this method. Alright, so if you want to try out this method yourself, just go ahead and copy the inventory setup that is shown on the screen. So I have an extreme ranging potion, or you can use super ranging if you don't have extremes, uh, a prayer renewal and some prayer pots, and infernal urns. Make sure you bring infernal urns because, well, you can't really pick up the ashes, otherwise, because if you did, this wouldn't be AFK. So, um... Make sure to bring Infernal Urns because it's like 2k prayer XP every uh, 25 kills. So it's really worth doing and they're not very hard to make. So you can just buy them in the G and use air runes on them and there you go. Um, and you need like 60 crafting but I'm sure everyone has that. But anyway, uh, the range method, it didn't work as well because there's other people in the world. And what happens is the ricochet ability doesn't have a very long range. So um, it's more difficult to have black demons constantly attacking you because other people will attack the black demons and if the black demon is attacking another person and you hit it it won't become aggressive to you so i would recommend trying to find an empty world if you want to do the range method the magic method was a bit easier with other people in the world so just keep that in mind um, either try to find an empty world or just make sure to check on your character every couple minutes if you're ranging here um, and the magic method, I actually liked it a bit better, um, but you do take more damage in magic armor than you do in range armor, just because range armor has better magical defense, and black demons use magical attacks. Um, so if you are wearing magical armor, just make sure to either get yourself really good armor, like if you're wearing Virtus or something, or Sea Singers, you would be just fine, um, or you can just have Soul Split and Vampirism with lower tier armor, and you'll be just fine. But um, the Chaotic Staff had 100% accuracy for me. I never, ever splashed on a Black Demon with it. And as you can see, the Chain ability hits a lot more Black Demons, so it's easier to AFK with the magic, which is why I liked it. You can also use the Dragon Breath from Long Range, which I thought was interesting uh, while, you're while you're in Revolution. However, the Dragon Breath doesn't hit. Your character just uses the animation and it builds adrenaline, but it doesn't actually damage the monster unless they're right next to you. But 
Anyway, I had it on the action bar just to build up adrenaline. And if you'd like to make this slightly faster, um, once every couple minutes, just use the ultimate ability, Sunshine for magic or um, Death Swiftness for range, and that'll just get you slightly faster XP per hour. Um, I mean, it just you have to look at your screen once every couple minutes and use it. It's not really a huge deal. But as you can see, I was getting hit here, but you just got to remember I was in really crappy armor, and I did not have vampirism with this magic. Um because I was in War Priest, so you'd e either have to upgrade your armor or use Vampirism as well, and you'd be just fine here. So, Also, the world was a lot more empty, so I had a lot more Black Demons on me when using the magic, so that might be a factor as well. Uh, but anyway, um, I want to issue a challenge to you guys. If you can find a monster like this that is better XP per hour, uh, let me know in a comment or YouTube bang box, and I'll make a guide about it and credit it to you. So anyway, time to experiment more with this revolution and see if I can find some more AFK methods. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully I helped and farewell.